Here's how to create a painterly style inside of Substance Painter. First, add a new fill layer. Go and add a filter. That filter is going to be HSL Perceptive. Then deactivate the color channel on the fill layer and then change the blending mode to pass through. And this will essentially change this layer into an adjustment layer that affects all the layers underneath. And we can control this adjustment layer with a mask. So add a black mask and then we're going to load up a generator. And that generator is a light generator. And this bakes the lighting situation in our scene. So we can adjust where the angle of the light is coming from and dial it into where the highlights would be on our object and up the lightness and change the hue a little bit. And then we can grunge this up by adding another generator. And that is going to be Mask Builder that allows you to control things like ambient occlusion, curvature, and we can really dial things in to grunge up these specular bits here. So I inverted it. Also going to add a blur slope on top of this to really break up the edges, make it look painterly. Then we can also load in a custom noise. I'm going to grab this grunge one and just really break things up, make things look super chunky by bringing down the source tiling. And that's looking really nice. And I'll adjust the Mask Builder there real quick. Now all we can do is duplicate that layer, make this just the sharp highlights, and we can do this by adding a levels and just crunching those levels down so we got this really nice hot highlight on top of our object. Now we can duplicate that lighten layer again, turn it to dark, and this will just be where our darker areas of our shadows will be. So I can adjust this to uninvert that mask builder and then just bring down the curvature, really adjust that ambient occlusion, and then we can bring down that lightness on the HSL perceptive, and then go into our blur slope, change some things, adjust that random seed, then add even more contrast we can duplicate that darken layer and just make this the deep dark shadows go and add a levels crunch those levels down and then go in and adjust the lightness and the hue a little bit we get those nice dark shadows now I want to smooth out these more harsh areas so I'm gonna add a paint layer move it to the top and then change this to smudge get my smudge tool load up a brush and then change this to pass through so this will also act as an adjustment layer and so now I can go and grab my smudge brush and then just go and smudge it's gonna smudge everything under that paint layer now because we're using those pass through layers we can go into any of our layers and adjust things and everything will update which is super cool so everything is procedural and live and non-destructive so we can go and do whatever we want and get a nice painterly look so i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and be sure you subscribe for more tips thanks for watching and happy painting